Hey there. Um, I hope this video message finds all of you safe and well and healthy. Um, I know it goes without saying that these have been exceedingly difficult times um, for our country, our state, our communities, our families, our friends, and of course this department. Um, like all of us, um, we've had more time than usual to reflect on things around us. And a couple of those reflections for me that have really been reinforced during this time are these. The first is this whole situation has just reinforced more than ever the value and criticality of our mission, of providing a place outdoors where people can get out and enjoy all of the wonderful bounty that Mother Nature provides and that we have the privilege of stewarding on their behalf. And I'm very, very grateful that all of us do that for this public, a public that needs it now more than ever. Secondly, and for those of you that have been with us for a long period of time have heard me say this, um, particularly when uh, times are tough, and that is that this department, your department, always shines the brightest when times are the darkest. And this has certainly been no exception as colleagues all across our state, in the field, at headquarters, wherever they work, have adapted to new technologies, new places of work, new means and methods of working, figuring out how to do it safely and with the safety of yourselves and those around you at the top of your minds. And for that, I'm very, very grateful. The governor, I think, as all of you know, has laid out a very thoughtful plan about how he wants to see the state successfully reopen. We're a part of that. And to that end, um, our support resources team, with lots and lots of input from all of the divisions and the leadership of those divisions, have put together a parks and wildlife facility reopening plan. That plan, of course, places a premium on the safety of all of us, our visitors, our volunteers, and the public that we serve. It includes the kind of social distancing and risk mitigation measures that we've all been accustomed to in this environment, making sure that we socially distance, making sure that we've got sufficient sanitizer and that we all practice good hygiene, um, that we stay respectful distances apart from one another when we're in common areas within our workplaces that we wear face coverings. Again, looking out for the safety, not only of ourselves, but for those all around us. And so these measures are something that are gonna guide us as we gradually phase us back into the workforce and workplace. Um, we're looking at June 15th as the targeted reopening of headquarters and other offices around the state. We're gonna phase that in. Um, looking at no more than 25% capacity um, at any one time. Uh, we're going to maximize um, teleworking and accommodate that wherever possible. Um, we've got lots of colleagues um, that because of child care related issues or uh, perhaps because they have somebody vulnerable at home or they themselves are vulnerable, we're going to make special accommodations and provisions and continue to allow them to work from home or to work flex hours during these times and managers will be asked to make special provisions as we work through all of the myriad individual situations. Speaking of which, the ways in which we work across the agency and across the state are very, very diverse um, and they require very unique circumstances from sampling on boats to out conducting prescribed fires on a wildlife management area, visiting with private landowners, checking hunters and anglers, welcoming folks into the parks, conducting interpretive and educational programs, and the list goes on and on and on. So we've asked each division to come up with their own facility and work safety related reopening plans. And so these plans provide more specific parameters for um, how we can safely um, um, work and again respect the health and wellness of all around us. For these plans to be successful we need your help um, and the most important thing that all of us can do is be mindful about our own health and our own wellness and so if you're sick, if you're feeling sick, stay at home. Um, we don't want you around other people, we don't want you at the office, we want you to stay home and, and, and get well. That is absolutely of paramount importance to all of us. As We've all learned during this time um, the adaptations to the COVID-related 
um, environment and the risk mitigation measures that public health professionals are asking us to practice um, are ever evolving and ever changing. And so um, we're going to have information that's available to you on the wild net um, that will reflect any changing circumstances or settings or decisions, um, but no. Uh, first and foremost, the safety of you and all around you is top of mind for all of us. I need your help in making sure that we successfully are able to return back to our places of work where possible and in the phased, thoughtful, methodical fashion in which we're going to soon start to approach that. Thanks for all you do.